Hi everyone, welcome to Kimber Creations. Uh, today we're going to do a little bit something different. Um, my son had asked me if I could do a product review in his place. Um, this isn't quite up his alley of, of things. Um, some of you may know that our son is a, is a DJ um, and he works with a lot of um, what do they call it? ED. I, I, sorry, Davy, if I'm getting this wrong. EDM. It's electronic, electric, digital music. Yeah. Okay. So I'm really out of the loop of the whole music thing. <laughs> um, but anyway, he does a really good job. <laughs> Either way, and his business um, is called Draw Entertainment DJ Draw. And so, anyway, back at Christmas time. Um, he was looking obviously for things for his wife for Christmas and she's such a sweetheart um, and he come across this company called crafts for all and he had purchased some things for her in the meantime I guess they'd been talking or whatever him and this company and stuff and so they sent him some free products to try out and for him to give a review and then he he really felt bad because he like I said, he just doesn't, he's not into the craft part um, of things. And so he thought I might be a, a better person to give that review. And so I told him I would try um, some of these things. Uh, well, I, I've never, for one, used liquid chalk markers. Um, our daughter has, and she said she really liked them. And so, um, and I've never open this one yet but he had brought what he, they had sent him at, at different times this was an all-in-one bunch but he'd just been collecting it and then finally was able to bring it over but we have um, two different types of fabric markers here which I've I've used fabric mark years and years ago um, with just different projects and uh, and I thought, well, I'll I'll try them on, you know, a couple pieces of fabric. But I'm thinking, I would like to also try them on paper. Um, I think I did read that these can, you know, also be used on your paper projects. And then he received these 3D fabric paints, which, um, you know, he had already tried a couple of these out at home, but. I thought, well, aren't these just like our dimensional paints? Um, you know, like the stickle things or whatever. And so I thought, and there's some really cool colors in here as well. So I thought I'd give it a try. I've um, never done a review like this for a company, so this is this is all new to me as well. But um, the only thing I, I haven't done yet is um, take it on, on fabric and, and then like wash the material so I will have to do that at some point to see you know how how the products work or look after they've been washed but as far as just putting applying them onto fabric um, and and paper I can do that much so I thought we would play around a little bit and I'd show you I'll have the links down below um, not only for our, our son's uh, draw entertainment link and then also for the crafts for all link so that you can go and check that company out yourself and selves and see what you think as well so for the first one let me just pull these out of the way a minute um, we'll try the little um, markers first and what I did is um, I went ahead and I stamped out a, just a real simple flower image. Um, I'm using this piece of cardboard just in case something leaks through. But uh, I used, like I said, I, I put this flower image um, on a piece of cotton material, a piece of white cardstock, and then, well, I had. I had a piece of jean, here we go, a piece of jean material as well. 
with um, some of that <coughs> excuse me with some of that uh, oh my goodness stamped image on it as well and I stamped the image with um, with just a black let me see well, I just took a, a cheap dollar stamp and then I use the stays on jet blank jet black ink um, to stamp the image out because I figured that would be the best and it wouldn't and with it being the uh, the stays on it the, the stamped image wouldn't run so let me see here this is like I said this is kind of new to me um, first of all we'll try it on this piece of white cotton I'm just going to take a few colors and and, um, and see what we think here. I did notice that now they don't have the color marked on the marker itself, um, but these are a fine tip marker, very nice, and um, I like the you know the the feel of it in your hand. Um, <clears throat> you know, it's easy to, to grab on to. As far as coloring, we're just going to color a few little petals. Um, I did notice that the brush is very, or the nib, is very stiff and able to control real easy for uh, coloring. Um, now I am going to take see how it writes. We're just going to write a simple word. And that writes really well. Um, so I like that. And of course, the material helps if you have um, probably the better material than what I did. I, <clears throat> it's kind of flake. The material is flake and not the not the marker. So let's try let's try another color and see. Obviously, this is not how I would color a flower, but I'm just trying to give you an idea what the colors look like. I'm not going to go through every color. I figure you can you know check them out yourselves and. So that's not bad. Now let me try the color of that marker on like jean material. So let's get some different colors here. How about an orange? Same thing. You know these these are um, really nice to hold on to. It colors on real well. So I like that. So let's try, let's see what the red looks like. They seem to be really nice, bright colors. You know, no problems that way. So now let's try it this particular size on white cardstock. How about a yellow? We'll see what it does. And again it just um, colors on nicely I think. You know, um, I know Davey he said you know their their prices are, are really reasonable and um, that's what he liked about it. I haven't personally checked into the pricing, which I probably should have done that, I guess, beforehand, but um, to give you an idea there, but I, <clears throat> my part of it is, you know, to, to see how well they color and things. Um, one nice thing I've noticed, just doing it quickly, you don't see a whole lot of, of lines. 
um, in the coloring, so I don't, I don't know. All right, so that's we're not going to spend a whole lot of time on that because there's so much to show you and and see here. So now we're going to get these fabric markers, and these ones remind me of our Spectrum Noir markers. Um, you know, it does have their logo, you know, on, on all of their products or the ones that, you know, was sent. Um, they do have a broad tip and a fine tip. And they also have the number and the color on the ends and uh, this one happens to be 76 sky blue and you know there's a chocolate 92 black cool gray and I believe this was just a sample of some of their colors I'm sure by looking at this that they have a lot more to choose from so we're going to go ahead and try this one, yeah, this this reminds me a lot of holding this the Spectrum Nor markers. So, um, again, they they seem to be nice. The nib is nice and stiff to be able to color on fabric. So I like that. Okay, let's try it over here. We'll get a different flower so that I know that. <clears throat> I think with these, maybe it's just a preference on on which which size that you like. Um, I'm not really. Not really sure of you know the different sizes or or if one he didn't have the the papers or anything with it to know what the difference is between them. So, but I do like, and they're not like bleeding out. I know that some markers, when you know whether it's fabric or not, they they you know bleed out on the on the. Um, Material and these don't seem to be doing that. It probably depends on the material too. I don't I don't know. I'm not an expert <laughs> So let's try this on paper Again, it just um, Really nice really nice to work with. Now this is just fast coloring. I'm not trying to do any type of shading or anything. Um, I'm just trying to apply the color. Pretty cool. So we have that. Now let's go on to, I'm, I'm saving the liquid markers for last because I've I've never really personally worked with liquid markers, um, so, but we'll try, now here was the box, the box, um, these are fabric paint markers, there's 24 colors, there's, um, let's see, they're non-toxic, permanent, these are one ounce bottles, um, it does not, I'm trying to see here. <coughs> Excuse me. It does not have the name of the color on the bottle. It does say that um, fabric paints, well, it's very small writing, so bear with me here. Fabric paints are a very important medium of painting used by many artists for card creations, fabric decorating, wood painting, wall art, paintings, and much more. Fabric paints can be used directly from the bottle or you can put some paint on, oh, to a palette and use as 
as a brush to get started. So, very cool. So we're already um, a step ahead. So I'm going to just, I'm going to start with this paper here and um, and we're going to make like a puffy paint. Oh, I like the color. I probably should be doing this a little bit differently, but um, yeah, very cool. You can hold the bottle easily. Uh, I should probably get something to clean this off with. <laughs> And um, I don't think I have a brush. Let me see if I have a brush over here. I do. We could probably. I'm just going to squeeze some. Uh, let's see. I know that he, our son, had some of these open before because he was playing around. So I can't get that one out. And I'm not going to. Let's try this yellow. Well, some of these I don't know which colors he had already. There we go. Okay. And then just again brushing it. Oh, very nice. I think I almost like the. Uh, the brush better and it probably all too depends on what you're doing um, and what you're looking for but I definitely like how it goes on with a brush really nice and smooth so that's pretty cool I don't know let's see if we can get that up there so so that is the puffy paint cool I don't know I'm still playing <laughs> alrighty so in there like I said there's there's a uh, 24 colors in here and just about any color you can think of and if there's not a color that you're looking for you know you mix your colors so that is exciting and then we come let me put this out of the way I'll wash it off here in a minute and then we get to the liquid chalk markers I uh, have not opened this one at all um, Davy saved this one for me to open and uh, now this is a set of 12. It also comes with uh, six free nibs, 40 free blackboard stickers, and including premium gold and silver markers. And let's see what the back says. And then these are all the colors, blue, green, purple, black, yellow, red, white, pink, silver, gold, orange, and brown. These are child safe, non-toxic, low odor, um, echo friendly, acid free, quick dry, water based, easy wipe off and long lasting. And it will work best when used on all non-porous surfaces, <clears throat> excuse me, polished wood furniture, wood furniture, car and home windows, whiteboards, chalkboards, plastic metal, LED boards, and glossy boards. So, um, you can always erase while, you can always erase while drying. Six mm, millimeter fine and uh, reversible chisel nib gives you the option to use the markers in large and small drying areas. This package, okay, we've already talked about the, what the package 
includes um, and then it gives the customer support um, information so let's dig in and see after I figure out how to open it <clears throat> okay Oh, here are the markers. Very cool. I think I got everything out. Okay, here is the the chalkboard. What were these called? Oh, it's chalkboard st stickers. I'm assuming. So you get like an array of different types. Very cool. I'm not going to use these right away. I'll wait for a special project for those. I don't want to mess them up on our our sample stuff. And then here's the extra nibs. And this is what the um, marker looks like. It's got that little shaker ball in the inside. It says shake, push, write, recap. Okay, let's give this a try. So, we're going to shake it up. You know what? We're going to try it on fabric as well. I don't know. Can you use chalk marker, liquid chalk? Oh, it says non pour. Well, it says furniture. Let's see. I don't know. Okay, so. What did it say? Shake, push. Oh, it's coming down already. Well, that's a cool thing, and I'm probably not doing this on camera. So it did come down pretty quickly, which is good because I know sometimes working with different markers with that um, ball thing inside. Whoops. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we didn't need the lid right now. <laughs> oh my goodness. Well, sorry. <laughs> okay. Onward and upward. <laughs> Let's just take... Oh my goodness, that was embarrassing. Uh, I have no idea if you can do this or not, but I really thought it was cool to try it on a pair of jean material or a sample of gene material. Very cool. And I'm like going really quickly, so I would... Ooh, I, I like... I like that. That's fun. Like I said, I've never really messed with... Now, I'm sure it's not going to work real well. Yeah, because this, this material is clumpy. Okay, so let's go on to... <coughs> the uh, paper. Now it's really wet. I'm assuming that's how chalk markers are. They have like a oh liquid chalk marker. So it's like a it almost looks like a paint. I, I'm sorry you guys. I really don't I really don't know anything about liquid markers. So um, I I feel really silly about doing this, but it's pretty cool. Yeah, it just, to me, looks like paint, you know, and uh, so let's see here. Um, oh, cool. I really like that. So that's what that does. I'm not sure if I'm using it correctly or not, but I do see like these little dots here and there, like where I've stopped. I don't, I'm assuming that's, um, oh, I love that. That is really cool. I have no idea where that lid went, so I can't put the lid on right now, but, so that's a blue. I wanna see what the hot pink looks like. So. It doesn't take a whole lot to amuse me, but I, he must have used this one because it's already down. I'll have to ask him. I didn't, I didn't think the markers were already used, but 
he must have went ahead and tried, I'm sure. Very cool. And it does, it looks like you colored with a chalk, a piece of chalk. Now I don't know if it's supposed to look better than that. You all that work with chalk markers will have to let me know because uh, I really don't know. Sorry. <laughs> but for never using them before um, and to give my honest review, I would use them. Why not? Something fun and different. You know, we're always looking for different things to use in our in our crafting. So I would give this a thumbs up for sure. And um, go ahead and check out the company. I like I said, I'll have the link below. And thank you for tuning in and coming along with this review with me. So anyway, that's it guys. We will talk to you all later. Love and hugs. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe.